Hello, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And now let's get on with this video. So today I just unboxed, well I didn't unbox, but I unboxed for myself, the Noodler's Triple Tail Clear. And I'm really excited about it. I took it out, it came in a, just a plastic wrapper with their, um, their iconic box. And I took it apart and just, um, well, not took it apart, but just, you know, took these portions off and just rinsed this off really well in a solution of water, just in my little jar, and about a drop and a half of Dawn liquid detergent and just uh, let it soak there for over an hour and then rinsed it out really well with, I used kind of filtered distilled water to clear it out. We have really hard water where we live, so I don't want any stuff getting into my pen, but they're not that, I mean, it, it'll be fine if you use just regular tap water, which a lot of people do. And then um, I also have in my hands, Roam Burning by Noodlers, and it's just the coolest bottle, I think. Um, it has um, all these presidents on there, and I wanted a ink that had kind of that sepia color to it because I've been doing some junk journaling and I'll show you what I'm doing just on that side. So I'm making some of these labels that say art journal on it and I wanted it all to look very old fashioned. This is Rome Burning and I used it with a dip pen. So it was super cool, gave me that, that old fashioned look, but now I wanna try it in this beautiful triple tail pen by Noodlers and I hope you can see it but it's got it's supposed to have really great flex because it's a music nib and so I will put the specs in the um, information there for you so I'm gonna just ink this up and I just got both of them so the bottle for Noodlers is almost always like super duper uber full so you always want to make sure you're not wearing white and well that's gonna how I go it just goes all over for me and then you want to make sure that you are careful in filling it up so what I normally find is that you have to kind of do this a couple times to get a bunch of ink in your pen but the noodlers pens hold so much ink anyway that it's really not that big of an issue on how much ink you end up so I'm just really excited to use this so this nib is supposed to give you really great flex I'm just gonna wipe this off so it doesn't end up all over my hands which it kind of already is because I was using a dip pen but that's all right and um so I wanted to try my new ink in my new pen. And of course I'm making this video and I forgot to grab my ruler, which is, you know, just really uh, typical of me to do that. So let me grab a couple of things for measuring. All right, where's my ruler at? Yeah, it's helpful. It's gonna Um, for my junk journaling just to show you where it lands it's fine we'll just make do because that's just how things go so here we are and uh, this is not capped and not posted and there's the zero line here and it's right above the five inch mark if you can see it and then um, if it's capped, it's a lot larger. So you are right at six inches. And I'm gonna grab a few of my pens here so that I can show you. And the nice thing is I have my pens handy on my kitchen counter, which is great. So I have the, uh, the Twisby Eco for ya. And this is also capped so you can see that little portion up on the top sticks out and that's right at five and a half and then I have my Pilot Falcon which is right above five and you can see all of those lined up so there's uh, just a little size comparison if you will 
and then I will do these uncapped and that way you can also see what they look like mm -hmm. and that is my pal pilot falcon to make it's the smallest one in the row there and so you can just kind of get a good size comparison there and then posted and you cannot post the twisby so that one stays the way it is well you can it just i don't well let me see i don't really like it posted it doesn't really stay that well so you know what i'll just go ahead and do that it's not just huge when you do that okay so we'll do this it's really really tall when it's posted so it becomes this really big pen which for my little hand it's hilarious looking i think if i post it so that's going to be the way i use it and the twisby actually fits into my hand about you know pretty similarly there um, just because they're not that different in size when you're looking at those side by side. So there's that. And this one, I'm gonna put these back on, get my paper cutter out, which is for an entirely different video, but that's okay, we will roll with it. So now Rome is burning. Uh, I wanted to also just talk a little bit about this ink. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it is amazingly cool. Somebody told, uh, told me, they. Um, on a video, they said that it reacts differently to hot water and cold water. That was a lie. Uh, that it didn't have any, you can, you can see there's no difference in that. But the cool thing is that when it's uh, just written out, it is the sepia color. And then when you put water on it, it is it changes colors. And then when you put bleach on it, it even um, shows more of its chromatography. So it is a beautiful, beautiful um, ink. So this is uh, the way that I test my pens and uh, or the writing samples and it is almost always on really inexpensive paper and the reason why I do it is because most of my writing is actually on cheap paper and the reason why is because I'm writing grocery lists and things like that or just jotting down notes or what whatever um, you've got going on. So that's what I do. So I'm going to right now okay so people were saying that the ink just flows out and it is who and i'm not flexing at all very smooth writing and hopefully you can see that um, this is a music nib and it kind of writes like a broad I think um, and uh, like I said the ink is just flowing out so I'm sure the back of this paper is going to look not so great uh, the body is resin and I don't have the specification, so we're just gonna skip that for right now. And I'm just gonna write, well, there's this part of it, and then, oh yeah, that's pretty. Okay, so that's staying up with my flexing pretty well. And then I'll do the, this is gonna, Oh, that's not so bad. Um, I thought that was just gonna be really wet. Goodness, that's not wet at all. I guess maybe it's the ink. So, who knew? So the ink is Newler's. I mean, I thought that that was gonna be like a disaster. Hmm. Go figure. This is why we uh, do a test, right? burning okay so while it's not wet there on regular paper it is almost all the way through actually it is all the way through to the other side and so you probably don't want to use this for like everyday uh, 
um, regular stuff just as a well my pilot was showing through too hmm, weird uh, but again I don't know maybe it has something to do with the ink who knows all right now I'm going to try it on better paper this is my uh my ro rhodia dot pad and so I'm going to just do a little sample here And then this, and then this. Okay, so there's more smear on the nice pad uh, versus the other one. And then Fox, my writing sample here. Okay, and there's this part here that you can see and nothing coming through on the nicer paper, but the smeary part is there, but it's dried already, so. Hmm. Well, there you have it. I don't know if you um, enjoyed that or didn't enjoy it, but the music nib actually was very lovely to work with. And if you see, it has a really good flexibility flexibility um because of the three times and ink will gush out but it doesn't seem to be a problem for Rome is burning so I'm glad I put that in here hope this was a useful video to for you and I'm going to have the specs in the description area and leave me any comments or any questions that you might have or any other suggestions for a better video talk to you soon bye